be laying on your back. And your head's going to be up here on this pillow. With the onslaught of medical breakthroughs in recent decades, the need to image patients and monitor their progress has grown. One of the most important imaging tools is computed tomography, otherwise known as CT scan. Some 70 million CT exams are now performed in this country each year. There has been uh, an explosion in uh, using uh, and utilizing CT scans uh, for diagnosis over the past uh, 20 years, uh, and mainly because it's a very valuable and very helpful test. But there is a downside, radiation exposure. While the amount of radiation used in each test is minimal, over time and with repeated tests, the exposure accumulates. While there is no definitive data on how much radiation is too much, a recent report from the National Cancer Institute suggests that CT scan usage may result in thousands of new cancer cases each year. You know, it's a catch-22. Medical advances, we can treat more, we can cure more but you have to be imaged more. So you gotta really kind of balance that. That has led to a new initiative at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center called Image Lightly, a promise to use as little radiation as possible to get the image needed. It's all tailored specifically to that patient, not the patient that was done prior, but to just that patient on the table at the time. Part of the BIDMC commitment is to ensure the equipment is up to date, certified and working properly. The technologists are trained to deliver the lowest dose possible. The scan is pinpointed to the necessary area. The patient goes through the scanner as quickly as possible, and the dose is calculated and adjusted for each patient. Before we use the same dose or the same type of energy for every patient. Now, if you're, if you're very slight and weigh 90 pounds, the dose is gonna go down a little bit. If you're a little bit larger, the dose goes up a little bit, but still we keep it under a certain amount. Technology also tracks the estimated amount of radiation each patient receives during their scan. And a program is developed to report the cumulative dose the patients receive from repeated scans. Each machine gives us at the end of the study how much radiation the patient received. In addition, when a patient comes in having had a scan at a referring hospital, doctors seek to obtain that scan rather than redo the test. Dr. Raptopoulos estimates that through image lightly and all these measures, patients can expect between a 30 and 50 percent reduction in radiation exposure. The whole group, the whole radiology department has an interest to providing the best possible uh, service uh, to our patients and doing it with as little radiation as possible. This, this was always our goal.